Hey, what's going on? Good morning. This is a beautiful Sunday morning here in uh, in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I'm about to run a few errands before I get to this yard and uh, tend to this grass. And I've got a few leaves falling down, but I've got a few limbs I got to cut down. Like I say, cut the grass and you know things of that nature. But I'm about to hit the store, Home Depot, get a few items. But this video is about uh, the power of sacrificing. In my belief, and um, I, I can, I, I'm a, I'm a witness to it because I walked it. But I made a sacrifice this um, past Friday. I was thinking about it for like, I want to say a good four maybe five months but it was here and there it was thoughts here and there here and there, here and, there. and i'm really uh i'm not so so connected with with numbers but i drive trucks um you know my nine to five i love to drive trucks i'm in transportation but i i, I pay attention to the numbers and i look at people's tags and i see a lot of triples so I look them up and see them as angel numbers and they tell me what to look out for or the meaning of the number, the numbers. So, like I said, I've been thinking about, you know, carpet cleaning, just keep it simple. Thinking about carpet cleaning for, for months now. And I've, I've been having a side hustle here and there for about a year. I said, I need to, you know, put some things into play because I see how trucking industry is how it's been going for the past two years and you know it's been up and down you know it's not really balanced right now and I don't think it's gonna ever get back to that stage where you're just gonna make bukus of money in it unless you're already established so I don't want to get long winded into that but the uh, sacrifice I made this past Friday was I purchased a carpet extractor uh, 170 PSI um, nah, Janny Link Jan, yeah Janny Link and I, I like it I like the the, uh, the new experience because I've been driving trucks for 8 years like I know what to do the ins and outs of trucking I know what it's about and when you get too comfortable with something tend to set yourself up to be uncomfortable you know in a negative way but if you're uncomfortable in a positive way you can live comfortably um I might sound kind of odd to you know people who don't understand it but I see a great benefit and sorry about picking up my nose I see a great benefit in making sacrifices in the things that you want to learn things you want to do even if you even if it takes some time to learn, even if you think that you failed at it, you, you, you had a, a learning curve. And, and one of the things about it is, yeah, I sacrificed. I spent a, a, a nice penny on it, pretty penny on it, but at the same time, now I'm, I'm in it, you know. I'm almost obsessed with it. You know, I, I purchased it Friday, but when I purchased it Friday, I, I looked at it when I got home from work. I observed it. And it, 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 it kind of, it was almost one of those things where it was like, dang, I did it. I, I actually got it. So it's almost like getting a Christmas gift and you look at it, but you know what to do with it, but you have it. Now it's like, okay, now what? <laughs> so I sat there at night reading the instructions, the instruction manual, um, how it works, and, you know, sending off the warranty paperwork back to the company and doing all this stuff. Uh, Friday, no, yeah, I went, went to bed Friday as, 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 as normal. Saturday morning, <laughs> just like Christmas Day, I got up and I started getting into it 
Like, and it felt good because I forced myself to do something I've been thinking about for months now. And, and I act on it. The only reason I did it was because I know how much I make in trucking weekly. And I know how much I make daily. But if you take a step back, if you just say, you know what? You just get in the groove of just making the money and it being the same dollar amount every week, every week, every week, the same thing. You're going to feel like you're on a hamster wheel. And um, I, I, I was... I was in the truck and I started breaking down the settlement and how much each stop pays and I got to the end of the day and I, 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 I you know, it looks good before taxes and I <laughs> did the math with the taxes and took that out and I'm like, this is what I make a day? <laughs> like this amount of time I spend in this vehicle and away from my family and, and, and doing some important things this is how much I'm making a day. This is how much time I'm spending on helping somebody else's dream come true and I'm getting bits and pieces. And that's when it hit me. I had that thought Wednesday. I thought about it all day Friday. Came, no, I thought about it all day Thursday. It came Friday, I was on my break. I said, no, nah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Forget about it. Just go ahead and take the uh, the risk and the sacrifice. If you can look up the price of the seven, um, no, 170 psi carbon extractor, you can see how much it costs. Yes, it costs that much, but at the end of it, how much is it worth? I think it's worth a lot more than the cost. I mean, the price of it. So. Yeah, I took a sacrifice. And the thing about it is, I'm sorry about the blinker. The thing about it is, every time I take a sacrifice, I make a sacrifice to something that I really love and really want to dive into, it's a big payoff. Another sacrifice I made was getting my CDL over eight years ago. And. The uh, recruiter told me how much it was going to, the price of it, they told me it was going to be around a little over $5,000. But before I got my CDL, I was making $25,000, $30,000 a year. And making that money, you're thinking like, okay, what else I got to do to make more? I heard the $5,000. Yeah, I heard that much. But I was in a position where I didn't have anything going on. And I said, you know what? Forget about it. I'll pay it back by weekly. Like I said, $30,000. After 30000 a year to my first year in trucking, my Maybe forty thousand, which was a difference, but it didn't feel like it. Uh, got another company. I say like between forty-five, forty-eight thousand. Okay. Then I got on with the company I'm currently at, and phew, like it, <laughs> it really took off <laughs> to where I was making double of the last amount. And it was like, okay, $5,000 to maybe three years, four years. Now I'm at this level or at that point, that sacrifice I made paid off. So that goes with anything, guys. But I, I, I'm saying that because Telling guys or, or girls that's that's younger than me, I'm in my forties now, but I want to tell you guys: make the sacrifices early. Make them early. Make them early, y'all. 
please make them early. Because when you make those early sacrifices, I'm telling you, you can afford to you can afford to take time to learn and structure things out to where you can benefit from them in the long run as opposed to me doing it in my mid-30s or whatnot. If you do it in your early 20s, by your mid to late 20s, you want to roll. And you know the feeling of... You know the feeling of um, of okay, I, I went through this this pain, you know this this point right here. I went through this discomfort phase. I went through this learning phase to where you learn how to survive from you know that point, and then after you survive, you thrive. So make the mistakes and learn early. If you fail, fail early because it's, you're going to benefit from it later on. I'm not making these videos to get a lot of likes and views. I'm not doing all that. I'm doing it because there's somebody out there that was in my position that's in my that's where I was before I got in the truck and before I said, you know what, I want to start a uh, janitorial service. Somebody was in my position sitting on the sofa trying to figure things out, maybe have kids, may not have kids. And you're sitting there, you're thinking to yourself, man, how can I get out of this situation and go to the next, you know? Uh, another form of sacrificing is, is, is uh, the people you hang around, that you currently hang around. And you start to figure out, okay, I'm hanging around this person right here. You think it's a good thing. You think it's a good feeling because you have somebody that's next to you or have a group of friends that y'all have the same patterns. Y'all do the same things. Y'all go to the same places. But you sit back and look and you got to think like, dang, how long are we going to do this until we can move forward? So I made a sacrifice, a sacrifice with um, making a decision, okay, I can't be around this, these people. I, it's not that I don't love them. And I let them know what I'm about to do or what I'm on, and they couldn't see it for themselves. And the thing about it, I can't be mad at them because they didn't see it at the time. But I was at a, in a position where, like, bro, like, let's do this, let's do that, let's take this, you know, this step and do this. Just trying to redirect us in a light to where we can benefit from it later on in our lives but at that time they didn't see it and it's okay I had to go through that I had to walk through the fire you know take a leap say you know what I'm going to get my CDL I've never been in a semi no I've been in a semi once my brother got a CDL years before I got mine I got in this truck and I'm like okay I don't know how you do this I don't think I can do this and I already put it in my head I don't think I can do it but I got to the point where I said, forget about it. I'm going in. I'm, I'm going to just try it. Got to Utah. Got my permit. Got my license. Man, I've just been going ever since. You know, you're going to have your incidents in trucking, you know, just like anything you do in life. But they seen the growth after I got my CDL, right? That's when they was like, damn, I'm about to get mine too. I'm like, all right, cool. All right, bet. You ain't got to move. When I say move, you move on your own pace and to the beat of your own drum, and that's fine. And I had one friend at the time. He was hype about it. He was like, yeah, man, I'm going to this school. Me and such and such going. And there was somebody else. I told around the same time, like, you know, let's go get out. And, you know, they chose a later time period to get theirs. Went to the school. Um, didn't make it through the, um, I don't think they made it through the assessment. Cause I called him maybe like three weeks after he told me and he was like, yeah, man, I, 
I said, what happened? He's like, yeah, man, I, I came back home. I was like, what's going on? What happened? Yeah, man, all that day going to test the paperwork you got to do and this and that and the third. I'm thinking to myself, like, are you kidding, right? <laughs> you thought you was going to go in there, crank the truck up and learn how to shift and, and, and get out and go home? No, it's not that easy. It's not, you can't. I didn't put, I didn't put him down and say nothing negative. It was cool. Had another friend. Uh-huh. And I'm, mind you, my son is eight now. I missed my son's first birthday. Well, his birthday party. I, I was home when he, you know, his actual birthday, but his birthday party. I missed his first birthday party. And I had a friend. He had a son, but his son maybe probably, I think, like, maybe two at a time. So I was telling him, like, hey, man, let's get our CDL. Same conversation I had with another friend. He said, nah, man, I can't do it right now. You know, I got this going on. I'm like, I get it. Five years later, we had a conversation. Of, you just, <clears throat> you satisfied with what's going on? <clears throat> he was somewhat. And it got to the point like, man, I should have listened to you. I should have went down there with you to, you know, get the, you know. And in my mind, I'm like, damn. You know, I didn't feel bad for him, but it was like one of the things like, when you call a shot and people don't take it serious, listen to me. When you make a sacrifice and you call a shot and people don't take it serious and they see the after effect, the benefit that you reap from it, trust me. You, my my friend, you're a leader. Make the sacrifice. Do what you have to do to say, you know what? I'm going to go against the grain. As long as you ain't hurting nobody, as long as you ain't selling nothing to people that's going to harm them. You're trying to benefit, you're trying to take care of your family. And you say, you know what? Everybody going this way. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, I learned from that. I don't really like it like that. Let me pivot, make another move. Guess what? That's fine. Learn the lesson. Do what you gotta do. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta go with everybody at their pace. Yeah, I ain't, I don't fault my friends at the time for going their own path and saying, "Nah, bro, I don't wanna do that right now." I'm cool with that. But if you take that step and other people don't see it like that, they say, "You know what? I don't wanna do that." That's fine. All you got to do is find the people or connect with the people that's on that path. That's it. I met so many like-minded people when I went to go get my CDL. I was like, okay, cool. We wouldn't, we didn't develop a friendship. They were just cool. And we learned from each other. We fed from each other and off each other. That was it. And I grew. So, I made the sacrifice I lost. I didn't lose friends, but I just didn't move in the same direction with certain friends anymore. Um, Sacrificed some money, which I got back. Shoot, not only the money back, but I got my family in a different position because I took the step to say, you know what, I'm doing this. Not for myself, but for them. So... The same attitude, hunger, and desire I had to go get my CDL, I'm putting it forth. I'm putting it towards cleaning business. I'm putting it towards janitorial service. And when I'm in that mindset of like, when I go across that bridge and I cut that part off and I can't go back, I'm forced to move forward. I move different. Some say some people say don't uh don't cut the bridges off. Nah, you got sometimes you gotta cut that bridge off. Cause that lets you know you can't go back. You can't go you going this way. You can't afford to even think about going. That is it don't it's not even there anymore. Well, like, how you gonna go back? When you're moving forward, you cut that bridge off. You don't even think about going back. 
That's the mindset you got to have when you make a sacrifice. You can't even think about going back. Not even a thought. Moving that energy, man. When you cut that bridge off, whatever you got going on, make sure you cut that bridge off and you ain't thinking about going back to the bridge to find a way back to the other side. This is a quick video. Make your sacrifices, man. Make them early. Learn from them early. It's worth it, man. In my opinion. It's worth it. You run in the store. Get these items. Y'all uh, learn what you can. Do what you can from this video. But I know it's that one person out there that's listening. That came from where I came from. Not came from where I came from, but it's in the position that I was in. Make the sacrifices and make them early, y'all. Talk to y'all in a minute.